With today's very summery weather, you can expect to smell grilling in the neighborhood. And Chef Jordan Barco with My Verona in Cedar Falls is here with a fresh herb marinade for putting on all types of red meats and pork. Good to see you, Mr. Barco. How are we doing, guys? Um, well, T today we have uh, a little beef tenderloin, chicken, and pork that have all been marinated in uh, our secret marinade that we uh -huh. have at work. Secrets. And so I'm revealing secrets. Oh I my goodness, it's your boss now. I don't, I don't stir too much stuff up, but uh, anyone who grows fresh herbs in their garden is always left with like a plethora of herbs at the end of the year. Okay. And uh, what I kind of wanted to show today is that it doesn't really matter what kind of herbs you're growing in your garden. Um, you can just kind of chop them up, throw them all together with a little bit of olive oil and garlic. and, uh, and Something good will happen. Yeah, yeah, well, and the best part is, is the, it'll keep in the fridge for, you know, up to three months probably. The, really? the olive oil helps, really helps to control um, the herbs. So today I have a little bit of thyme, I have oregano, sage, rosemary, and garlic. Mm. And uh, basically what you do is you just mash wow. that all up cool. together, and start chopping it up, and then um, we'll put olive oil and garlic into the bowl. We'll you can do this in a food processor if you want. I just kind of wanted to show off today. So, um, but then You've you just got skills. put You're that good. into your bowl and uh, get your olive oil, which I'll just have to reach You know what I wish? Guys. I wish I'd known about this growing up. I always had a little herb garden, and you do have so many herbs, oh, and you, you waste them, and you feel bad. And the herbs just love to grow. So you yeah. want to completely coat these herbs with olive oil. I don't know if you can see that on the, on the TV screen, but uh, throw in a little bit of garlic, and you can do as much of the herbs or as little as you want. It's going to keep really, really well mm. in this kind of situation. And so you just whisk it up, put it into a sealed container, and as long as you don't put your meat into the herbs and mm -hmm. put the herbs onto the meat rather than that, um, it's going to keep for a really long time. Plus, if you put a little salt into it, it's really great with bread, too. So. Ooh. Oh, look at oh that. that looks mm. good. That's like a, a dipping sauce at, at a table at your restaurant, kind of. Exactly. Okay. And so that's our secret, and that's how we <coughs> keep it fresh Boy. and tasting so good. So, Fantastic. is that honestly your secret? Like, do you have exact amounts of certain herbs and stuff? You just throw them together. Nope, we just throw them together. We throw them together. We throw them together, and, okay. the, and the, the herbs do the job themselves. Well, that is fabulous. Anybody can do that, Jeff. Yeah, and you can really custom fit these herbs. If you want to do tarragon instead of rosemary, it'll mm -hmm. go better with fish. If you want to put citrus in there, cilantro if you like making Mexican dishes. So you can do whatever you want. You can really custom fit all these. <coughs> items. You don't have to put garlic in there if you don't like it. So that's the great thing. Okay. Well, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Looks great. Easy enough for anyone to do. Come on in. Chef Jordan Barco, My Verona in Cedar Falls. A great place. We'll be right back. It's summer's most intoxicating smell, the oh. neighborhood grill. Oh. Burgers are just a grilling staple, aren't they? It is the most intoxicating smell. You said so yourself. Right. Executive chef of My Verona in Cedar Falls, Jordan Barco, is here now to show us some tasty and unique ways to do burgers. You've got a bit of a surprise here. About yeah, well, um, a few years back, I was making burgers at the house, and there's about uh -huh. five people home, and uh, I only had a pound of burger, and I was like, this isn't going to be enough for five people. And so I took a gamble, and I mixed a, a half a can of refried beans in with it. Really? Made them up, and it turned out to be some of the best burgers I've ever Is made, and I'm still true? making them to this day. Oh. And on Mother's Day, my wife coined them Jordan Burgers, so now yes. we call them <laughs> Jordan Burgers. It's not my own thing. Not the accident. <laughs> but uh, it's a really simple start to a recipe and you can work with it from there but um, essentially what you do is you take two pounds of ground beef and uh, with this recipe it's really nice because you can use 90 10 if you like and it's still going to turn out really creamy um, so you have the beef and then you want to crack one egg into that two pounds of beef so what's the egg do? So the egg uh, helps make it creamy. It helps it come together. Um, you know, okay. it's going to add a little flavor and a little added protein. Okay. About an ounce of Worcestershire, maybe half an ounce. Uh, I, I use splash, but for anyone who's writing it down, uh, maybe half an ounce to an ounce. Okay. And then uh, for two pounds, you only want to use a half a can of refried beans. And then, of course, salt and pepper. And then that's going to be your base for the burger. And uh, 
And that's you know, really going to stretch this quite a bit. It's going to stretch it quite a bit. It's going to turn maybe about four burgers into about six, and it worked out perfect that first time I did it. And uh, put a little salt and pepper in there, and then that's it. And then you can, if you like, to add anything else you like, but it is a really good base. You kind of want to break up. Refried beans have a tendency to have uh, whole beans in with the puree, mm. and so you kind of want to break those up with your thumbs and fingers as you feel that in there. And uh, you got to mix this up really nice. Uh, but when you get done and you make the patties, you throw them on the grill, and it doesn't matter if you have a wood grill, gas grill, induction, these burgers are going to taste great. And, uh, you know, for people who like well done burgers, this makes the burger extremely soft. Because if See, anyone's like, had I a like. well done burger that's like a hockey puck and dried right. out, it's just <laughs> terrible. Um, whereas these refried beans uh, can make a well done burger just creamy and delicious. They just add a lot of moisture, basically. Exactly, to it, right? and and uh, you know the refried beans are kind of smooth, and so it smooths out that that beef flavor. And oh man, I tell you what, wow. it just tastes delicious. And my my wife and my friends go crazy for these. And so, yeah. do they serve the Jordan Burger at uh, My Verona? We do not serve the Jordan Burger at My oh, Verona. It's a little too Mexican for an Italian joint, oh. I think. But uh, but you know what? They're served at my house all the hey, time. Hey, I so. know you could substitute uh, refried beans for cannellini. Oh yeah, there you some go. white beans. Mm -hmm. There Mush you go. Those up. Yeah. That might be good. Okay. Of course I like my refried beans. <laughs> yeah. So you got the patty and there you go. Ooh, and that's a you, good you don't even see the beans in there. No. It looks like a hamburger patty. You could lie to people if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you want to stretch your budget, too. Exactly. That's, That's a good great. idea. Okay, well, great. You can't get these at My Verona, but you can get tons of delicious Italian food at My Verona in Cedar Falls. And I don't know, maybe you could just knock on Jordan's door and yeah. ask her a burger. Yeah, call. I live over <laughs> by Cadillac Lands. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Okay. Thank you very much. We can't wait to try these. We'll be right back.